his Platy Gallery, Kawan Rusa. Yes. And now he has, I'm very grateful, agreed to help me to mount my platycerium. So in this video, we're going to learn how to mount our platycerium properly. Alright. Okay. So. Alright, let me try. Yeah. Of course, at first we need the plank. Okay. This, uh, there's a lot of type of plank that we can find outside, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, I would just recommend new beginners mm -hmm. to try some uh, flat, normal rectangle, uh, rectangular woods. Oh, this is, I think it's balau or rangas, I forgot about so the material. So it's quite a hard wood. Then. Yes, it's heavy, mm -hmm. so it's suitable for outdoor. Okay. If you're growing indoor, yeah. I uh, mostly get the, oh. the pine wood. Indoor pine yes, wood, it's what? easier and lighter. Oh, okay. And uh, if it's outside exposed sunlight for too long, right, it might, it might destroy the textures and it, it can't be able to last for that long. Okay. So yeah. So but, but today I will use something like this. This Good. is what you have, right? Yes. So uh, normally I just do a hole. Yeah. And uh, put a wire so that you can hang on something else. But maybe we talk about the hole. Yeah. Oh yeah. I actually <laughs> got this from uh, my friends, the selling party, Lady, okay. Lady Green. So uh, he he drew a hole so that it's easy for the the plant to breathe. To create yeah. more air, uh, the the airflow. Okay. So it's easier for them. So usually we we we'll just put a netting behind that okay. to prevent the moss drop from the ah. the hole here. So I think the first thing we need to know how the platy grow when it reach the mature stage. Mm -hmm. So you can understand the the orientation. Yes, the place and how you want it to be. Imagine. Um, let me take this one. This is one of my platyserum. Okay. So this is Aki. We already know the, the way they grow. This is almost the size of teenage and you can see the new form is coming out. Yeah, alright. So usually we just take it off and then mount in the plant easily. This one, if you wanted to uh, give them a level of difficulties how to mount platy, I guess this is level one. Okay. Because it's easy. It's easy. This one will require a bit of skill because Kichaku is a hybrid of uh, Coromanium and Relay. Yeah. And it, the way it grows, the shield fronts a bit tricky. Yeah, I wasn't sure which direction is it. Is yeah. it this way or, or that okay, way? Uh, that's why the first thing we have to examine the front uh, front point, front part. You can flip it up. You can see there's a new new front is coming up. Okay. This is a new front. Ah. So you know the new fronts always face on the top. <coughs> oh, so this is how you tell. So this is how you mount it. Okay. And All right. Right. Good to know. Well, of course, we will try to trim away the excessive uh, fronts that is already covering. And normally, if you want to mount it, you will just have to imagine it looks like this. Ah, okay. And Kichaku, when it grows, mm -hmm. it has the characteristic of Relayi. So you need to form like a ball, ball shape. Okay. Yeah, that's how it looks like when you mount it on the board. This is how it looks. Okay. So we try to make the moss ball as round as possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, at first we just have to take it out and examine how it looks like. You can see um, if you try to mount the platyserum, mm -hmm. try not to touch this. Oh. This is what we so call the root ball. So you can just tap a little bit, okay. let it loosen up a bit. Mm -hmm. I think we get these two the materials here. Okay. So to screw too tight, so then when you are using the fishing net to mm -hmm. secure it, you have an angle point for you to, to lock it. Right. Yeah. So let's go with that. I feel like this is a cooking class. Cooking class, right? <laughs> Spring over a bit of all small power. <laughs> okay. Now imagine which one is the center. Okay center of the party okay. right and then we we'll imagine where you want to lock it here so uh, so always try to look for the center of the place okay wow that is kind of hard to put in that position yep. yeah so we require some skill I'm... it's fine Very dangerous. Yeah. 
do not try this without adult supervision. Ah. <laughs> uh, it requires a bit of uh, because the the ply is too thin. Ah, okay. So normally I would use bigger ply, thicker one. I'll try to secure it first. How about uh, just here? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it, it will block the glass bottle. Yeah, improvise. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So we we'll have two angle points. Okay. So you know where to mount them. I learned this trick from uh, Mr. Fong. Yeah. So he he taught me to put in tea bag. Oh, tea bags. Yeah. So you won't spill away when. Uh, yeah. So I just open up some. It, it's an all balance, uh, 14, 14, 14 Osmo cord. So it's nothing much. How often do you have to kind of add on fresh? Yeah. After maybe six to eight months later when I see the grow is non-stop. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Put the Osmo core in tea bag so they yep. don't scatter and run yes, away when Yes, yes, yes. I believe this, uh, the media is chunky enough so mm -hmm. we don't add a lot. So I will just add a layer of moss. Okay. And then with a bit of pine box. Yeah. And then with a moss again and then slowly to cover it up. All right. All right. Oh, this is so nice and fat. Yeah, I prefer to use the Chilean 7 a moss because this it's is chunky. This premium, yep. very nice and lush fat. So it, it, it won't, uh, it can retain more moisture. Oh. So normally what I did is I would just pull a layer first. Okay. Okay, a layer. And then a layer of this mm -hmm. with the moss. Okay, a little chunk. Okay. And then with a bit of moss. There's another trick to do a really nice shape of a moss ball. Okay. In uh, Taiwanese, love to use a bowl. Yeah. They use a bowl to to create a form first. Okay. And then they only put the flat serum. Wow. It's so much more easier. Wow. But uh, this one requires a little bit of skill, so it's it's, it's different, different man. So at first mm -hmm. we tied it. We tie a knot. Tie a knot. These are transparent threads. Uh, yeah, I just thought yeah. it's a fishing nylon. Okay. Just fishing net. It's is 0 0.2 mm, 0 0.3. 0 0.2 is good enough. Yeah. If 0 0.3, 0.3 will be too thick, okay. that's why it's really, uh, it's really bouncy. Okay. 0 0.2 is good enough. And then we just put on here and then see how you want to do it. Normally, I've just created a hole first. Mm -hmm. Like then, a chiffon yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put it here. So, because the plank is too small, like yeah. what I mentioned, because you want to grow it on the trees, right? Yes. Eventually, the shoe fronts will wrap it around, cover the, the planks. Yeah. Probably put on the trees, it will, ra it will wrap, wrap the, the, the tree, tree. trunks. Yeah. yeah. So, what I did here is, we will try to secure this part, mm -hmm. cover it up like this. Mm -hmm. So, you it's have. It's pretty to, high yeah. up from the. Yeah. You, so that's why we have to add on a bit of moss. Ah, okay. It's fine, you know, this one, uh, we understand that it, it, it does look pretty at first, but eventually when you grow it into a really nice form, it will start to change. So, so we will, yeah, it's okay that this is it's a okay, little it's fine. crush. Yeah, it's fine. We need to secure it. That's the key of growing platyserum. At first it's not pretty, it requires patience and things. Okay. How many hands do you need uh, to normally, do this? Normally <laughs> I would just uh, secure it first. Okay. I will secure it first. And wait just a moment. And then here's the anchor, right? I'll just swing around. You can hear the cracking. Right? Only two uh, screws are enough. Uh, sometimes I will add on if the if the plate is really huge. Okay. Go in there underneath. Yeah. Try to use the fishing net to to um. grab it tight. Go back again. It's uh, amazing how you can do that on your own with yeah. your help. Do I'm, you usually do this by yes, yourself? Yes, by myself. I, wow. I've been mounting the platy that you see on the wall. It's, and it requires a lot of patience and time. Yes. Sometimes it took me about hours wow. to finish it. Chunky materials in underneath. Oh, okay. Then you kind of stuff moss in it as you... To cover it up. Okay. So we, knew, we might need more moss. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sometimes I might need help from my mothers or my wife to hold the plants. Because you no, know, the what we are most afraid is actually the thought that you might yeah. you might destroy them when they're mounting. Yes. Sometimes uh, I would just cut away the front, <laughs> let it grow. Again. Cut away the front. Yes, cut away the front, let it grow again. Wow. I will mount the bottom part first, try to create a shape. Okay. When you see the shapes, then I only start to complete another part of the platysium. Okay. So I create one place first. Yeah. If it's good enough, then we'll move on to another part. Mm. Okay. If you can, I'll just hold up. Wow. You can see, you start to see the shapes. Yeah. But this one is what we have to create. Uh, uh, create more, try to make it look uh, completely round here. Okay. So I will add on. That's the casualties one. We're gonna cut it. Yeah, slowly here, mm. cut it away. Oh. No why, worries, Irene. Why I mean. did we cut it? Uh, it <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I cut it just to prevent it oh. bothering my works. <laughs> oh. What? Like I say, I cut away all the front sometimes when I try to mount the party. Okay, that's okay. how I secured it. Okay. Right. Just with one knot. Oh, okay, with a knot. And just. The not first. Okay, here's the first place. Now you see this. It's, it's not complete yet. Mm -hmm. It's not complete yet. The reason why I stopped because I want to see how it looks like when it almost uh, complete. Ah, okay. okay. So. So now we want to do more. The yes, top I think we will have to add on a bit of uh, the anchorings here. Okay, here maybe we need to show yep. the camera what it looks like here. So we have kind of a, a gap at the top, and so we want to. Yep. True. More by putting, securing another... Yes, securing here, and nails. Alright, let me okay. put another screw here. This one I will normally put a bit uh, slightly 45 degree, like this go down, instead of the 90 degree. Okay. So because when I screw here, when it come up, you know, they will have the anchoring. It yeah. has a strong uh, support. Okay. But it's a bit difficult to do that. <laughs> Let, let, let's see, let's see. If I can't do that angle, I will just... Okay. Oh right. my god, that looks so dangerous. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, like I say, I will just add in the pie box again. Yeah. Especially the, the chunky stuff you will have to put inside inside the platysium mm -hmm. so it has more medium for them to grow Because the bark would hopefully disintegrate slower Yep, compared to uh, cocohas yeah. and these things okay. Alright, because when you have ah, one okay. anchoring point you will have another one here so that yeah. you can secure Okay, so we're gonna have to put the screw in Yep, another hmm. screw Please do not try this at home. Do you Get a proper to, tools. To hold? Yeah. Okay. Go. Go. Wow. I think there's a market for platy mounting services. Because <laughs> I'm seeing this is not as easy. Yeah, as it not. needs a lot of craftsmanship skill. <laughs> yeah. And this is all the things that you will see when you get. Oh dear. <laughs> So, uh, do you provide such services? Uh, you know, probably we, <laughs> in the futures, they can, you know, they, they need me to teach them. Or they can do it by themselves by watching your video. Yeah, uh, this is the point of the video, to show people <laughs> how this master craftsman... No, I'm not really a master. I'm still in a way of learning to master it. <laughs> but because a lot of people have been asking me in my, on, on my Instagram about how to mount a platysium, oh. I, can't really, I can't really just hold the camera and do it yeah. at the same time. Yes. So, uh, I'm so grateful we are doing this. So you can forward the link <laughs> to this video. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we just add in the moss. The things here, right? We will have to make sure the next form will grow smoothly. Okay. I will press it gently. Oh. Sometimes we will have to cut it. Oh. So that cut it? Why? Yes, so cut it so that you can make the chiffon grow perfectly. But I read that we should never cut away the basil nope. from 
Uh, yeah, normally, normally, this is this is another one that I mount on the three foot. Okay. Uh, you see, this is really, really. So it, it means it will wrap up the moss ball slowly, okay. and uh, that's why we have to make sure the surface here, the shoe front here, is smooth, wow. so that when the new front is coming out, okay. it will slowly cover it oh. without interrupting. This one might interrupt in the future, oh, and then so it will it deform. Yes, it will deform. Down. It will okay. deform. Okay. Right. By the way, why is there a cling wrap around that? Oh yeah, sometimes I'm using cling wrap to <laughs> enforce the front butt. Oh. Uh, shoe front is one of the way the platysum to secure themselves mm -hmm. to make their roots grow strong layer yeah. by layer within the shoe fronts. Yeah. Sometimes uh, platy might confuse whether they use shoe fronts or fertile front. They grow too much of fertile front, mm -hmm. and then the front butt will be too fragile, and then it might broke. Oh. It might it might just fall off. Okay. So I using cling up to wrap it tightly to, to make sure, yeah to help it, it to secure it. So when like what you see here, it's already wrapped around here. So I will just cut slowly pull up. Ah okay. Yeah, I know it destroyed the aesthetical. <laughs> it's a temporary. <laughs> yeah, it's just a temporary solution. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Try to tie a knot here, and then go down. To this point, secure it, go up again. And okay, now I finish here. Yeah. You can see it starts to have ball yeah, the ball sheet. So I know it looked a bit uh, messy. Later we can clean up. Okay. Another round again. But some people will just leave it there. Yeah. Because they know eventually the shoe front will grow up and, and yes. cover it. But I can't. I have to make it presentable. So oh. I will clean it under the round, make it perfect. You're a bit OCD then. Uh, <laughs> for platinum, yes. <laughs> I love it how when it naturally ages, this moss kind of come to life again. Yeah. Sometimes it encourages a lot of our friends to grow on moss. Yes. Too. It's actually my red eye that died. Uh, it's now a ball of ferns. <laughs> it's, it's not really yet anymore. <laughs> so I will pull this one down, hold it oh, down. Oh, okay. To cover it. Press it. Sorry, this is the the one that protects the front butt. Okay. So if possible, just put it at this, you know. And uh, don't try to, when you, when you, when you try to secure the, the, the practice room, yeah. don't quite try to get too near to the front part. Okay. It might destroy the new front. Try to move up a bit and yeah. then secure it tightly. Mm -hmm. And come and hold again. And secure it tightly here. It's almost 60% complete. Only 60? I thought it looks like 90. No, 60%. <laughs> what? Like I see, this one is a bit tough. Yeah. <laughs> Even I mounted so many flat this year. Okay. I'm glad I brought you a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what you do is uh, now you can see the, the ball shape is start to form right now. Yeah. Right? You, can see, you still can see a bit of uh, the, the cocoa has here. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure mm -hmm. it's in a perfect round form. Oh. I will always look at this angle. Okay. When you look and see, try to make it. Uh, really in a nice ball shape. So oh. from what we see here, yeah. here I might have to add on a bit of moss. Okay. And here too. And if this one is really mm -hmm. the original species really, yeah. I will just make it into a really ball shape. Okay. But this is a hybrid of really with coralinium. Yeah. Which coralinium has a high crown yes. shoe front. So the, the important part is this this bottom. this bottom have to secure. Mm -hmm. So when the new front grow up, mm -hmm. it will it will it will form into a ball shape and then slowly go up. Ah, okay. So that's why uh, at first we have to identify the platysium that you have. So when you know the species, you know how it looks like when it mature, you only know how to mount it in the proper way. Oh, okay. does that mean that for the below here, you really would like to make that perfect round ball yeah, shape? Yeah, so many more. Usually those are for uh, high, high crowds uh, with a high crown shoe front. Yeah. I will make sure the bottom part is nice, like okay. Wichita, uh, Wing Ki. Yeah. Uh, or sometimes a bit of uh, hybrid. Mm -hmm. If it's really eye uh, or um, hilly eye, mm -hmm. I'll make sure it's a ball, the ball entire, shape. Yeah. Okay. 
but really uh, it's a bit tricky we have to make it a really perfect round ball shapes mm -hmm. um, I can I might show you later mm -hmm. you have to make it ball shape so that it can wrap nicely oh. if you hit lie I will try to make it more flattened a bit okay so they can go smoothly because the, the basal front is yeah. broad yes yes oh my goodness okay <laughs> Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was so much thinking yeah. behind. Yeah. So you have to understand the the plan that you have first. Okay. That's the that's the first thing when you mount the plan. So. Yeah. With the pictures uh, on the internet available everywhere, mm -hmm. we can be able to know uh, what kind of plants you have, and you can ask people. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we have to add on to make it look perfect shapes. wrapping themselves on the tree. Yeah. Which begs the question then, why do we use so much sphagnum moss? Uh, because of the infrequent watering. Okay. Because in the jungles, you know, uh, the environment is constantly moist all the time, especially under the canopy. Yeah. There won't be like uh, too much of uh, volatile conditions. Mm -hmm. So if you use moss to retain the moisture, you can actually lower down the burden of watering frequency. Ah, okay. In my garden where it's pretty humid and it kind of rains almost every day now during monsoon. So you try to use less moss as much as possible. Okay. So if you're growing this, you will have to make sure it's not like exposed to a lot of uh, yeah, rain. Yeah, I'm thinking now where I should put this. Under the tree will be good enough. Okay. Under the tree. I under have, the tree, it will be want, subject to rain every day. No, under the tree, unless the tree doesn't filter the oh, okay, rainwater. Okay. When it filter, it should be fine. All right. But uh, this is an easy plant. So I think it's okay. Oh, it's good. quite easy. Is it because it's got really a uh, parentage, so I'm a little worried. Yeah, but this one is so, so much more easier compared okay. to yeah. Sorry, I think the. Can we say in general hybrids are hardy? Are hardier than their. Species? It really depends. I don't have a really definite and absolute answer for that. Ninety percent now. Uh, nope. No. Eighty. Wow. Eighty something. Because at the top we haven't really done yet. Okay. Now you can see here. Mm -hmm. the, the form is not really perfect yet. Yeah. Look at the top. You can see. So what do you mean not here. perfect yet? You need the the oh, round or shape. Yes. Oh okay. So, Even though like no one can see it. That's why I need to stand here and <laughs> I need to stand here and look at the overall. Okay. Uh, I have to add a bit of here to make it more symmetrical. Here. And then here. Because here is a bit, a bit bulky. Okay. Uh, just add. Okay, at first you know when you mount it, mm -hmm. you will have to expect the shoe front will yellow. Oh. Why? Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's moist, it covers with moss and stuff. But it will slowly grow back yeah. into its uh, beautiful form. So. Almost done, 90%. Yay! <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. so normally I would use a uh, yeah, a big plank here. Yeah, not a plastic. Not this plastic crazy. one. Okay, I think it's almost done. So and this is done. Yes, and uh, ninety-five percent. What's the last step? The last step is to make sure it's in a perfect form. So we just try to compress it a little bit. I okay. always thought it's just functional, but now I realize it's a lot of aesthetics. Yes, um, you will have to trim away the excess you want. The, the excess uh, moss. Moss. You like hair cut? Uh, this is how yours looks so good. You groom them. Yeah, really. groom them. <laughs> Plastic grooming service. So, yeah, it's done.
Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah. It looks like a different platy from what I had before. It looks like it's double in value alone. Yeah, that's why it can go to in a huge uh, size. But you it just have to be patient. Okay. Because at first I know it doesn't look really nice with, without the greens and stuff. But I think in two to three months, it will slowly grow with the, the biosol front. Yeah. Cover it up and then it will slowly go up. But what I can show the mature one. It's incredible to me already. <gasps> oh my god. This is the mature kichakut that I have for about two years. So same plant? Yes, same plant. Bigger. Wow. Bigger. And then previously, I, 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 this is, uh, I think I mounted for the twice already. Okay. I mount once like this. Yeah. And then it started to grow again. I'm, I, I tap on another layer of a moss. Okay. And then eventually I gave up because the roots are already attached into the three foot itself. Oh. So yeah. But the new front is growing. Yeah. So I think they will double its size. Wow. So this is Kichakut. And this one you're keeping outside? Outside, right? yes. Yes. Right. And it's raining all the time and I don't, don't really. Yeah, you can see the moss and the roots. Oh my goodness, look at that. So nice. Okay. Thank you so much, no Lord, problem, no problem. for doing this for me and then sharing with the viewers how to do it. So, um, it kind of looks simple enough with a lot of moss and a lot of thread and then four screws <laughs> that you have all over the board. But I think it would be easier if you have help. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's, yes. Lifting the front and then, then putting up the mouse all around. Yeah. And it requires a lot of patience. I think we mouse about an hour. How, how long? Yeah. I, an hour. It took a while. Yes. Yeah. But having said that, this is one of the more tricky ones to Yes. Mount, yes. Right? If you're mounting something uh, different. Yeah. Probably I can show you the relay. Mm -hmm. The one you just have to mount into the ball shapes. Yeah. Uh, others like VGI, Bifurcatum, it's much more easier. Okay. All right. Good. So just to recap. Inside this moss is a chunk of cocoa chip or also tree barks or you could also yeah. put pumice. These are the more chunky bits and then you cover it with this sphagnum moss all around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I'll probably I'll let it show you the relay. Yes, and the relay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come. yeah, this is one of my oldest relay. <laughs> oh my god. And I grow them uh, inside. Inside the, it's outdoor but it's shaded. So you can see I see side profile. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. So tempting to test. Yeah, it's fine. You know, um, <laughs> this is the reason why I'm out into the ball shapes. Really, I love to form a ball around here. Oh. So you wrap it up completely. So mm. if it's a really I make it into a complete yep, true, round true. ball. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Looks like a cabbage. Yes. <laughs> Expensive cabbage. And please remember to click share, subscribe if you have enjoyed this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.